Hey, what's going on, everybody? Today, I got the Revster electric scooter. This was a gift for my daughter for Christmas. And it's been sitting around for a while because we discovered that somehow, some way, it got a shortage in it. And if this happened to you, I want to show you what I did to fix this. One of the first things I did was test the power back and forth to see if the light would come on. I plugged it in, unplugged it, there was no power. I checked the throttle, no power. So this is what I did. Now I ain't gonna lie, I already got started. So I took these screws off the top. So, so the first thing I did was took this part off. It was screws right here, a bolt right here on that side, and just some regular uh, Phillips on the top. Now as you remove the top, First thing you see is the battery and you see the wires. Now on the battery, you have a negative wire and a positive wire. Well, the black wire is the negative wire and that's what came loose somehow. I already got it stripped, but I just want to show you what was going on. The black wire was behind that sleeve. So as the wire behind the sleeve was just kind of touching, barely touching. So basically i just want to remove that sleeve so we can get this fixed this is where i discovered the shortage was happening at so we're going to get this soldered on and get a solid connection from this point on even if i just click it off and on like i turned it on right now and i just touched the negative side of the battery you see that's what was going on so every time my daughter would ride the scooter and she hit a little bump, it'll come on, it turn off, so on and so forth. And it will definitely get on your nerves. And then you try to plug it up, no action. So let's stick with the process and get this problem taken care of. So this is what I decided to do. So I stripped the black wire. You can see whenever they soldered this before they must have did a poor job they got solder all over it. looking messy i don't understand that so what i did i pretty much stripped the black wire and just kind of laid it across and i got my solder right here and i got my soldering iron and i'm going to go ahead and uh start putting this on here i'll show you the process if you're not comfortable doing this let someone else who's comfortable do this be extra careful where all safety equipment do not touch yourself drop any of the metal touch the battery with the soldering iron just be extra careful with this process it could be very dangerous so i finished getting the wire soldered on there and what i did to finish up was use electrical tape to wrap it up just for extra precaution so let's go ahead get the battery placed in there and give it a test so we put the battery back in the case and another thing I did, I used some of the foam that came in a box with my bike and put it in the little grooves underneath the battery just so it can be cushioned. I'm not even sure why the battery was sitting on a hard bottom inside of this scooter without being cushioned. And that may be part of the reason why, why it came loose in the first place. So I'm going to go ahead and power this on and... I have the red wire connect, and I'm gonna connect the black wire. Voila, and we have power. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this connected, and we're gonna give it a test ride. Okay, so I put the screws in on each side of the wheel, screw the top of the top back on. In order for us to know if this wheel, and this wheel works, like it don't just go automatically when you hit the throttle you hit the throttle right here so i'm gonna have somebody push the throttle and then i'm gonna turn the wheel see if it there we go now the throttle is being pushed down it does work so if you guys having this problem your scooter not accepting a charge or the power is going off just take the top part of it off and uh, find the wires that's disconnected and connected. All right, everybody. Hope this helps. Talk to you in the next one. Peace out.